to May and your career and money reading. This is for your rising sign. This video right here will tell you why you should watch this for your rising sign and not your sun sign. If you don't give a shit, go ahead and watch it, whatever, but it's going to be more accurate for your rising sign. Um, we're going to cover what do career and money look like for you in general this month? What should you be looking forward to? What's going to be your biggest annoyance? Where to look more closely and then general advice and guidance for you. Um, the decks I'm using are this one here, the Psychic Tarot Oracle, which is actually a tarot deck and not an oracle deck, and then the um, Number Guidance deck. Okay, let's get started. Oh, there's links in the description box below um, that are affiliate links for each of these decks. If you like the deck and you want one for yourself, because that's a common question I get in the comments, um, it doesn't cost you more to get them through that link. It just helps me keep making these videos. Okay, let's get started. Aries. So in career and then in money, what's going on as far as your general vibe goes? Career, um, they're saying like new beginnings that are faded for you are coming, which will create a lot of stability for you. Um, but and you know you'll feel a lot more confident in life. Um, so this is not dissimilar from what Leo's had. So if you have a lot of fire in your chart, this is extra, extra good for you. Um, they're saying whatever you put into something, you know, you'll get something out of it. So that's good. So if you're not working right now, whatever you put into the search might land you like the perfect job for you, something faded, your destiny, you know, something really stable for the future. If this is something, um, that you know you are still working or you run your own business it's like things might come up that don't feel super awesome right now but they're coming up for a reason in order to create like a really solid and stable foundation for you and you should feel confident about the efforts that you're putting forward that they will pay off for you in the future in regards to your money they're just saying um you know this is where you're going to differ from the leo reading a lot in that your heart chakra is a lot more open to receive money um, and to receive help from other people. And so when you're communicating with other people, um, they're going to be more willing to help you. So, you know, in for example, you know, this says domestic harmony. So if you live on your own, then this is a time in which you should maybe start to have enough money to redecorate the way that you want or um, to get you know new furniture to make your home look really comfortable and happy while you're working from home, for example. Or if you have a family, then this is a good time to ask what you need of other people to delegate responsibilities um, in order to create an environment that you want. But you know this is tied to money, so what they're saying is that you know other people might be contributing. Um, maybe somebody else is doing grocery shopping if you live with somebody you know things like that but it looks like things are stable and it looks like whatever you contribute comes back to you big so like little changes that you make to your situation um to your financial situation like if you make a budget or something it pays off for you really really well um that you find there's a lot more money that you're left with at the end of the month so they're saying like just little changes that you make um are going to pay off for you hugely but there's an aspect here that um in order to feel comfortable and confident and things like that in the area of money specifically money surrounding you know your home life situation that we need to be communicating um, verbally with other people. Okay, so what do you have to look forward to this month in career and then in money? So in career, there's some conflicts here coming up for you. So why is that something to look forward? Um, and they just bring it up again. They're like, no, for real, there's going to be some serious um, things, some conflicts that we have. But what they're saying is this helps you to focus on being grounded. What is practical? What is real? You know, what is the bare minimum of what I need to be happy to be successful? And it gets you to start thinking less lofty and more practically um, in, in regards to career. So it is a good thing that way because like I mentioned, you know, there's a lot of um, stability and reliability coming for you in career which is good to hear in you know current times with the pandemic so 
in regards to money. They're saying, you know, it might not be that like a new money source starts flowing to you, that like, you know, becomes like super prosperous overnight. And then they repeat that message. Okay, but why is that something to look forward to? That sounds like something you wouldn't look forward to. And they go, well, it's in tandem to that um, conflict that we have. What is practical? What is realistic? How do we achieve it right now? It helps you to get organized for the future for that when things finally do maybe change. Um, and they're saying this is just a good time for you to rest, to restore, to rejuvenate, so that you have that confidence that we um, mentioned in the beginning so that you can fully shine, you know, and that it's like almost like um, laying the foundation of something for the future. Does that make sense? So your biggest annoyance this month um, in regards to your career, it's your fear. It's that fear chakra lighting up and saying, hey, what am I afraid of? What is it that I think I can't do or what could possibly go wrong? And but it all brings us back to like laying that foundation of stability for the future and starting to build ourselves up to believe in something um, in regards to our money. They're saying, you know, there's no new heartbreak or loss or anything like that. Like things aren't going to get bad. They just might not be something new and awesome that's happening. So the fact that we don't have to fear any like impending, you know, doom or catastrophe is good. Things at worst are going to be the same. OK, so um, where do you need to look most closely at um, in career? They're like, you know, new beginnings that are faded for us, like focusing on how things are changing even though that's kind of a conflict for us even though that might be hard understanding that it's leading us it's building that foundation to something bigger and better for us in the future and then they're saying you know from a material standpoint of what it is that we want let's just give a little bit of gratitude for what we have right now and express a lot of gratitude for the fact that things are not necessarily going to get worse they say the spiritual prosperity is where we need to be um, because if we're not thankful that things aren't shittier, that things are status quo, then things could get shittier, right? Um, there's a article on my blog that will explain a lot of this for you and kind of help. And then another one right here um, about gratitude that'll kind of help you get things moving along once we lay that foundation to build what it is that you want for your life and manifest it. Um, so the general advice and guidance are, you know, in career, we can say, hey, thank you, you know, for the career that I've had so far and um, that, you know, how things are going and, you know, what I really loved, even if I don't have them anymore, even if I'm moving into something new, even if um, I'm releasing those, I'm letting them go with love, right? Feeling good about things that I've picked up and learned along the way, experiences that I've had and how they're going to shape my future. Um, you know, and then in regards to money, they're just saying independently going, OK, what can I do for myself right now? Because this time is about rest and rejuvenation. It's not about money for you right now. So your crystal of the month is tiger eye. There's an article right here on my blog that'll tell you about all the different ways that this can help you in your business and financial um, situations, uh, as well as in other life situations. And I love you so much. I'll see you next month. Mm -hmm.